well spent. This is the home of Kung Fu movies. They'll outsell a Hollywood romance here any time. My movie, a lot of young children, they go in to see it. So no violence, even have just, a... Just a second, Jackie. You're saying that your films aren't violent? No. I don't know if a lot of people would agree with you that your films aren't violent. I mean, there's enormous amount of fighting. Uh, very hard to answer you. You know, if no violence, no action, not difficult stunt, no people, no people come to see it. Violent, they certainly are. But then good always triumphs over evil in Jackie's films, which makes it all right. And somewhere in all that kicking and punching, you can always get a laugh. Beginning, you must attract the audience, see the movie. Ba -ba 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 -ba, a lot of things. Then, then story, then comedy, then set, then the end. The end, big fighting. Everybody beat me. When I win, I'm by lucky. You know me. I was just kidding. I'm the one who always makes up first when we fight. Why are you mad? Of course I'm mad. You insulted me in front of her. You louse. Whether it's in English or a score of other languages, it really isn't all that serious. And that's perhaps why the fans flock to his movies. Because Jackie Chan does fool around. Please give me a chance. I've tried to explain. He turned Kung Fu on its head and came up with his own comic style. A lovable hero who doesn't always get the girl or win every fight. Not bad yet, Dragon Mouth. Satan's dog bites to death. But why does he allow the audience to see him getting hurt? I think, well, I think it's a good idea, and really, because I think it works. It makes him so much more approachable. Willie Chan, no relation, just a good friend and manager. Jackie's success, he says, is his boy next door approach. Does everyone love Jackie Chan? Yes, yes, because you know, they, to to them, he's not the superhero. He's just like an ordinary guy made it, who made it, you know. The boy next door is very rich today. Actor, pop star, and car fanatic. He owns 25 of them. Then there's this luxury apartment. It's the greatest view, isn't it? More money than he ever yes. dreamed of. But sometimes I don't like Hong Kong. But it wasn't always like this. Born to poor Chinese parents, he was almost sold before he left the hospital. Jackie, is it true that your mum and dad were so poor that they wanted to sell you? Yes. The English doctor, he said, OK, I'll give you 1,500. Is that all you were worth? $1,500? <laughs> At that time, a lot. At that time, it's a lot. Then my father said, no, our only child in Hong Kong. So he wasn't sold, but he was kind of given away. At seven, his parents placed him in a special school. Not to learn to read or write, it was a training school for martial arts, and young Jackie was in for a very hard time. And your teacher, he used to punish you if you got things wrong? Yes, very hard. I'm not a very naughty boy. Especially me, I'm a very naughty boy. It's a big jump for the naughty boy at that school to being Asia's number one star. But he's not just the star, he's also the director, and action, producer, and choreographer. <laughs> Not too hard, all right? <laughs> we want him alive for the rest of the story. <laughs> Your stunt team, they call you Big Brother. Why do they call you that? I was a stuntman before. I know how hard is a stuntman. He's talking about his family, his stunt team, 17 of the most loyal devotees any boss could wish for. <laughs> They do everything. Almost everything. Like crashing through a Hong Kong slum 
that was specially built for the movie. When Jackie and his boys get into action, they can make a James Bond car chase look like a Sunday afternoon drive. This scene nearly ended in a double tragedy. They were supposed to land onto the car, not the road. Three months in hospital, they're back at work. Stunt work, that is. Do you think you have a death wish? Uh, uh, suppose, I'm not crazy. I do, I do the things is, I believe I can do. Uh, Our hero is in big trouble. About to be bashed up by four very mean women. In fact, Jackie Chan uses women in some of his most spectacular and toughest fight scenes. Did you really hit those girls? Uh, as many as possible, use cam camera tricks. Be a good girl when you hit them. But sometimes when I really need to hit them, I will let them know, this shot, I hit you. This guy, guys, chase me. He's about to show us yes, how a simple have, stunt yeah, resulted I, uh, in his worst accident. It was very nearly the last thing. movie Jackie yeah. ever made. There's the jump. jump. He makes the jump the first time, but he's not happy. I don't like it. You didn't like it? Not clear enough. My idea is like a monkey, you know, jump, phew, boom, landing by my foot, not by my hip. He can do it better, that's and that's right. when that when simple stunt went, went horribly wrong. This is the second jump. I missed, and I fell in 50 feet. 50 I hit, feet? Yes, I hit, the, I hit the camera. He fractures his skull and has to undergo major brain surgery. Uh, only things I know is my, my, all, my ear, blub, 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 all blood comes out. Has that made you scared? Has that made you frightened of doing more stunts? No, no, no. Because the stunt is my life. Movie is my life. Oh, look at her. Hello. Oh, hello. hello there. It's a very fun party. Thank you. Sir. It's a Jackie Chan charity foundation ball and the elite of Hong Kong society have paid big money to spend a night with their favourite son. He's tight-lipped about his personal fortune, but his ten most recent films have earned nearly $200 million, as well as the loyalty of an army of adoring fans. And they show that loyalty in the strangest ways. Tears of joy, you could say, from this Japanese fan. Perhaps she's just overawed. But it's the Japanese who take their idol most seriously. Some even to the point of dying for him. But suddenly, some girl suicide. Now I know it's dangerous. He's talking about a Japanese girl who threw herself in front of a train after she read about one of Jackie's off-screen romances. She saw the newspaper, I have, I have a girlfriend. Then she jumped off the subway. So I'm, now I know very serious that I should do everything right because everybody, young people, young girls, they look at me. A big star in the East that wants to rise in the West. If there's anything Jackie wants most, it's to be one of those Hollywood heroes. Like everybody know E.T. Ah, E.T., ah, oh, Jackie Chan, no. As famous as E.T. But then E.T. came to Earth from another planet. Well, at times you wonder if Jackie Chan isn't just a bit off this planet. Oh.